Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the George Benson Football Channel. I'm not happy today. This isn't going to be a positive video, but we need to get it off our chest, don't we? Mason Mount is joining Manchester United. Personal terms are nearly agreed and Chelsea lose probably our best player from the past three years. We're going to talk in a later video about some other players that are leaving, but the Mount situation needs a video in itself because quite frankly, I'm fuming about this one and I'm going to tell you why. A lot of the transfer rumours and talk that we're hearing at the moment about Chelsea trying to sign Ugarte, there are similar issues here from the ownership which is going to inevitably become a snowballing problem and Mount is literally the epitome of what that problem is. Chelsea unwilling to match what Mason Mount wants, other clubs recognising the talent that Mount has, easily offering him significantly more money and better contract terms than Chelsea Football Club. Not only does Chelsea then strengthen a rival, but we lose a footballer who is everything that the Chelsea that I know grew up falling in love with and still am in love with is all about. And all of this stems from awful decisions from the owners that have now led them to take a step back a little bit, but in a way which just proves the incompetence and the lack of experience at the top level of English football. Anybody who has watched Chelsea for the past three years, apart from like the little cool kids who think it's a good idea to just ignore all of the great things that Mount has done in a blue shirt and look at the stats this season with three Premier League goals and two assists and say, the man was always a fraud. The man's never been good. The fact of the matter is, right, a lot of people on social media that want to talk negatively about Mason Mount are simply doing it because it's the easiest way for them to get a voice. It's the easiest way to be heard. I'm not saying that everyone needs to like him. I'm not saying that he's the perfect footballer. But the fact of the matter is, for Chelsea to be losing the player who has been our best player overall for the past three years, in my opinion, is a tragedy, let alone for him to go and agree personal terms with Manchester United, a team on the rise with a bit more stability, with a decent manager and a team that Chelsea are going to be hunting down next season to get back to where we believe we belong. I think that summarises my thoughts on it, but I'm going to go into detail about why all of this falls on the head of the ownership. And as you can tell, this is more an opinion-based video from me. If you agree or disagree with me, let me know in the comments down below. A few months ago, let's go before the World Cup, Mason Mount was offered a deal. Mason Mount reportedly wanted to sign the deal, but there were a few things within that contract terms that needed to be ironed out, that needed to be sorted out. And Mason Mount, at 24 years old, having achieved what he's achieved at Chelsea, bought into himself into the England squad by merit from Gareth Southgate and frequently used by every single manager, not only at Chelsea, but Southgate picks him all the time for England as well. Yes, didn't have a great start to the season for Chelsea, but to talk about good in context with Chelsea's season for anyone or anything is absolutely ludicrous, but Mount often gets scapegoated for all of this. He wants to sign for Chelsea. There's a few issues, the World Cup comes along. No one at club football wanted this World Cup to happen in the middle of the season. It's the first time it's ever happened, and quite frankly, for some clubs it was good, for others it was bad. But when it comes to business structures and business operations and sorting out player contracts, but yet they bugger off to Qatar to play for England, it's not ideal for anybody. And then the World Cup happens. There's no more communication. Mount's sitting here always saying, this is my club. I want to stay here. I want to be a Chelsea player. I am a Chelsea player. And he's still waiting for that contract to come through. And then from the World Cup until now... There is a lot of different rumours about what's been offered, what communications have been had, but the sticking point has been that Mount believes he should be getting this, Chelsea are offering him that, there's an issue with image rights, and when I think about all of this, and I think about all of the business that Chelsea have conducted in the past two transfer windows under this new ownership, first things first, Roman Abramovich would never let this happen. Roman Abramovich would understand just how important Mount is to Chelsea, and despite all of these massive contracts that we've given out to players, Raheem Sterling's on 300 grand a week, absolutely unwarranted for the majority of this season. He's got better towards the end, but again, scapegoating him for now to prove the point. 300 grand a week. Mount isn't asking for 300 grand a week, but for some reason, this has been the talk of the town amongst anti-Mount people, and everyone's like, well, how dare he ask for 300 grand a week when he scores three goals, two assists in this Premier League season? Absolutely get that, but my biggest issue is they're happy to go around spending loads of money without profiling the right players. 
bringing in 12, 13 players this season, offering them eight-year contracts, nine-year contracts, yet a player who epitomises everything that being a Chelsea player is, who has grown up at this football club, won multiple player of the years, multiple titles with the club, and yet we can't even sit down with the bloke and have a discussion about what it is that is the sticking point between sign the deal and not signing the deal. And somewhere, what has happened here is the owners have taken a step back now from the just throw the money at it. Because obviously, from what we've seen this season, I guess they're learning, you know. Throwing a ton of money at a load of different European players, bringing them to Chelsea Football Club, 600 million's worth, by the way, gets you 12th in the Premier League, apparently. So what are we seeing now? We're seeing retraction. We're seeing Todd Bowley, Badadeg Bali, the new sporting team at Chelsea Football Club, step back a little bit. Offer Manuel Ugarte half the salary that PSG offer him when he's Pochettino's number one target, and we can't offer or come to a compromise with our best player from the past three years, who's a homegrown player, been at Chelsea all of his life, and yet we are turning our nose up at meeting somewhere in the middle. And in the process of doing this, we are strengthening Manchester United. I just find this whole thing, to me, it's like, I want these owners, now that they've seen that they've got and they've done things wrong, they've made mistakes, I want to see them attempting to rectify this. But as I said earlier, it would have been a better PR move when this season was going wrong. Don't appoint Lampard as a new manager. Sort out the players, because you can chop and change the manager whenever you want. Sort out players like Mason Mount, who embody what being Chelsea is, sign them on, get them to stay at this club. Because whoever comes in, yes, we've got a rebuild. Yes, there's a revamp necessary, but didn't we do that last summer? Wasn't that the plan last summer to buy a load of players, revamp the squad, get a bit of fresh legs in there? And even if Mason Mount has been out for the majority of this season with injury, even when he was playing, there was a deterioration in the quality of output that he was putting in and towards the end of it the whole conversation has been about is he going to sign the thing and because he hasn't signed it obviously clubs like Liverpool clubs like Man United are going to be looking at this thinking are Chelsea having a laugh they've gone and spent 600 million on absolute complete and utter dross for the majority of it let's be honest about this here Mount's had a bad season but we have spent in excess of a few hundred million on players that just certainly are nowhere near the level that Mason Mount is United are licking their lips here they value Mason Mount at 55 million quid knowing that there is one year left on his Chelsea contract Chelsea want 85 million what we're going to have to suffer with here is that Mount based on the fact that he's English selling to another English club this isn't me saying I only love English players it's just the truth that's the way the football market works Chelsea selling to Manchester United should be one of those things where it's just too good to refuse. 55 million, 60 odd million quid for Mount to Man United. I guarantee you that he goes there and he absolutely shines, thrives and shows every bit of what he showed in every season up until the last one at Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea, this is one of the worst pieces of business when it comes to selling a player that I can remember. At least when we sold Eden Hazard, it was for 100 plus million quid and he was going to play under his dream manager at his dream football club. I get that. I, I, when he left, I was obviously distraught. I was sad. He was the best player in the league. In my opinion, best Chelsea player maybe ever in terms of raw ability and talent. But you can see it. With Mount, he's wanted to stay this whole time. And then it's the club that have let him down. It is spending stupid money, offering stupid deals to players who aren't good enough. And then now we're like, oh, we can't do this anymore. We can't go throwing around these kind of numbers. But he's been our best player for the last three years. And unfortunately, these new owners have only been here for one year. So maybe all of this has been swept under the rug. Turn a blind eye to it because it's beyond the I get that side of things, I do. But sometimes there are more important things and there are probably a, a lot more other players who are the homegrown pure profit players that we could and should sell who will have less impact on Chelsea's potential future than Mount does. So in my opinion, maybe if he really wants to go, I actually believe he does now because I don't think he feels wanted by the club anymore. And I think the reason this story has dragged on for so long is because Mount has just been praying that Chelsea finally see him in the light in which he needs, he deserves, in my opinion, to be seen in. I know I get a lot of stick from those vocal fans who don't like Mount and think that I just give him too much credit and I don't see the, the bad side of his game. Like I said earlier, he's not a perfect footballer, but in a time when Chelsea's identity has been tarnished, has been just a shadow of what it used to be. Whether he's been fit and playing or not, 
or playing well when he plays or not. He's still the epitome of everything I know, and I know a lot of Chelsea fans agree with me. And I think the fact he is already early in this transfer window is not even open, but if we get this done early, it's good because it doesn't drag on through the window. It doesn't become the main talking point, which is a negative for Chelsea. But at the same time, I just think selling to Man United is just a massive mistake. We're trying to chase them down. We want to be where they are and we're selling to them, one of our best players, to make them better. And I just... I don't know. I think, for me, it's just stupid. And I think the club should have done everything they could have done, which is significantly more than what they have, to keep him at Chelsea. Obviously, this isn't done yet. It's not completely signed, sealed, delivered. He's United. It's not there yet. I'm just hoping that Pochettino can step in and try and curveball this in some way. And I hope the club can understand just how good of a player he was and is. He's 24, for goodness sake. Like, every footballer, apart from Messi and Ronaldo, has had a bad season. So, yeah, I'm gutted about this one. I'm pissed off. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Come on, you blues.